So you want to retarget people who've been in touch with your website previously, maybe the last 60 days, maybe the last 90 days, maybe even the last 180 days. Well, I'm sure you're going to need to know how to create custom audiences if you're currently advertising on Meta platform, or maybe if you want to start advertising on Meta. Right. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create these custom audiences for your business or brand inside of Meta. We're going to jump right now into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to create retargeting or custom audiences for your brand or business so you can get back in touch with the people who were currently on your website or in the past. So let's jump in. So yes, we are inside audiences for this specific account. As you can see, there are many various different audiences that we've already created for this client's account. However, none of this data will be shared, so you don't worry, it will all be blurred out. But nevertheless, we're going to recreate some of these from scratch. Okay, some of them are very old, so we're going to have to recreate them anyhow. And I want to show you and take you through everything step by step. So let's go through this quickly. We did discuss that we are going to create the uh, custom audiences specifically around the website. We're going to target things like website visitors, add to carts, initiate checkouts, fast purchases, and we can look at something else if there is something that we can use. I just want to mention, if you are looking for someone to do this for you, you know, run leads, make more sales, grow your business online, maybe help you structure the thing from scratch, beginner to advanced, we've helped multiple various different clients from international and local sort this type of stuff out and make it very successful for them. My agency can help you do this. It's 333.co.za. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you hit up that. And if you are looking for maybe some mentorship, I'll also leave a link there for you. You can get in direct consultation with me and I'll help you sort out whatever you're currently doing. Let's get back in the video. So all we need to do is click on custom audiences, create audience. So we click on custom audience. We're going to go to your sources and we're going to look for website. Once we've got the website, we select next. All we need to do is make sure that we have the right pixel here. So make sure under the source that you have the correct pixel selected. Once you have the correct pixel selected, we can now look at the separate events that are available for this customer's account. As you can see, due to the fact that she's got a lot of data built up on her website and she's an e-commerce store, there's a whole bunch of other events that you can maybe target. So the most common one is obviously all visitors in the past. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. We can then obviously select all visitors and we can then look at the audience retention and how far back we can go in the past. So as you can see, under the audience retention, you can just read this explanation for yourself. However, the maximum days that you can go back in the past is 180 days. Okay, so you can set this to whatever retention strategy or time frame that you'd like. Uh, if you only want to stick to 30 day people, then, then you can create a, a custom audience around your website visitors on the pixel for the last 30 days. You can do it for 60 days, you can do it for 90 days, you can even do it for 55 days if you want to be weird like that. I will always create as a get go for a client's account if it's brand new and we just started running ads, etc. And we're just going to create some audiences because there's now data collection happening. I will always stick to the maximum at 180 days. All right. So 180 days is going to go back in the past 180 days and collect data from that. And then obviously we can name this whatever we like. I have and we have an internal naming convention for these type of things. So custom audiences, we always start with a CA and then we have this slash thing currently there we either put the initials of the customer um the brand in front uh, of ca but not necessary for this video and then we'll just describe what the audience is so the audience is website visitors right uh, visitors and then obviously another stripe and we're going to say the retention time frame so 180 days now you can obviously use this naming convention should you wish but obviously this is now a quick rundown of how you create that for all visitors then you click create audience and it will just populate it in the back here uh, like one of these ones it will pre-populate it for you as you can see these are ready for this client's account already because these have been created far back in the past um, you probably will have to wait a few hours because the very first thing that I was going to say here once you create the audience is it's busy populating. Now you're going to have a, give it about a few hours and then you can obviously start using it full, in full function. But uh, yeah, once it's done, it's done. It will obviously show a ready and green tick here. Let's go back in there and I want to show you how to create the others. Well, obviously now we just did website visitors. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Now you're probably going to have to do the same should you have data collected for these other events you can obviously do the same. So if you want to have people um, or collect a, a custom audience around specific website links that they visited, you can obviously say, um, the, let's look at those specific website pages. What is the retention that we can go back? Okay, 180 days. So you can select your time frame. Let's do 90 days for this one's example. And we can say the URL contains 
but doesn't contain or it's exactly equal to. So this is up to you exactly what you want to use. Uh, if, the, if you don't want it to deviate at all from that current URL, uh, then you do use something like equals. If you want to have a little bit of deviation, so if you know a bit of Google Ads, uh, you can then have a broad match or a phrase match, for example, where you can use the words, uh, the, the phrase um, filter contains, um, and it might be a, a word or two change, but it always contains very similar stuff in it that you can use as your criteria for the filter. So in this instance, I'm not going to necessarily put um, the client's exact URL here. So let's use our business URL. And that's just the home page itself. So if they had anything that contains the home page link like this, it will then use that 180 day past data and create a custom audience around that. Um, you can obviously separate these and make it slash and your pages and then obviously put those in as well for your for your custom audience but in this instance we're just going to uh, collect data for the custom audiences that have landed on whatever url contains the home page which might be all of them all right so that's how you use specific home pages or landing pages if you want to use by time spent you can obviously use so it's not going to separate it according to how long it was in there so no time uh, unit but it works in percentiles Percentiles is obviously just saying, did they spend uh, enough time to be within your 25% uh, percentile and then in your top 10% percentile and then obviously top 5% um, and then you can obviously separate them according to that. Um, you can create custom audiences if you really wish for every single option here. I mean, it's all up to you to do that. However, it's going to take a lot of time. It's very consuming. And if you don't have a lot of data, it's going to be very, very time wasting for you because a lot of these things won't populate and then it might not be able to be used in the ads. So if you don't have a lot of data, don't waste your time doing all of these. Um, so that's visitor based on time spent. You can obviously also see the retention on this is 180 days currently. Um, we're not going to change much of these. You can also then say that they've specifically visited various pages and what was the time spent on that page and then have that custom audience created specifically for that. All right, let's move on to the next one. As you can see, we've got page view, which might be very useful uh, to certain uh, companies, especially e-commerce brands. All of these are basically very uh, unique and helpful to e-commerce brands. But the main ones that we normally would focus on would be something like a view content, add to cart, initiate checkout uh, and purchase. Now purchase is obviously talking about past people that have bought from your store. Now this is exactly what that is. So obviously the retention on that is also 180 days. I'm sure everything for a website will be 180 days, but uh, you can always check it out. Make sure you check the retention because I'm if you put 365 here, it's going to tell you it's not going to accept that. So yeah, just make sure you're using the right retention. You can refine these by URLs, again, specific pages, uh, the, the specific value or aggregate value, uh, the specific device. Maybe they use mobile or desktop only and you want to create a custom audience around that. You can refine it further. You can exclude certain people from the from the list. You can include more people uh, and, and just make it extremely, extremely complex custom audience. Not necessary, but it's up to you. Like I said, the imagination can go wild with this. So now that we've created that, we got, we've done uh, purchases, we've done viewers, uh, visitors, and we've done um, view, uh, page views, certain page views and time spent. The rest of them are exactly the same sort of setup. You're just going to create a separate custom audience for that. Maybe change the retention time frame, name it something else. Um, I know, for instance, if you're looking to retarget, if you've got a company that replenishes, has replenished goods, so maybe supplements or something like that. It's, it's very cool to use a 30 day time frame for past purchases to try and get them to replenish their, their current um, supply that might be running out. Uh, and then you create a past purchases custom audience around 30 days. Um, you can do it again at 90, 60 days and then 90 days and, and make sure that you always have a step that catches them for retargeting and reminding them, hey, you need to come and buy again because I'm sure you finished. Um, and then you can obviously try and manipulate that for the rest of these. Initiate checkout, add to cart, and the works. Well, there you have it. I'm pretty sure now you can go and create your own custom audiences about based on your website's activity with the current visitors or traffic or past purchases and customers that have exited or have played on your website. I'm sure this video was very valuable for you if you have never created custom audiences for you, your business or brand on, on Meta as a platform itself. This should have actually shown you exactly how to do it and in a little bit of a step-by-step -step process. You can go mad with the customization should you wish. You can make them extremely simple, which is what I suggest. 
and you can make them extremely complex, which is probably not the best solution. Um, remember, a lot of what's happening on Facebook currently now is that they are talking about consolidating things, which means slowing down on the complexity, making things a little bit or much more simplified, depending on your campaign structures and stuff inside of your actual you know, meta account. So it's up to you. These audiences are there still to be used. However, Facebook is currently pushing, as I just said, for very broad and not uh, extreme targeting anymore. Um, so how much longer these custom audiences might be around, I can't answer. But they are here and available to be used currently. So you can use them and I would suggest using them while you can um, before it might not be a thing anymore. <laughs> so yes, without further ado, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you got value from it. If you did, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment if you will. All right? And like I did say, check the links out in the description below if you want our expert help. Um, we have some team members that can definitely hit you up um, and discuss currently what your situation is. Or if you want a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, there is a link below. Cheers.